One of the things that's very surprising in Texas is that how tall the plant is, is about 60% correlated with yield. And so that's only really in Texas under high stress. And so we are really using some of these technologies as a proxy to measure plant growth and therefore get at those components of yield. So there's multiple ways we're measuring plant growth. Uh, one is by UAV. And so the Texas A&M has a very large UAV program that we're uh, participating in quite a bit. Um, and the other is by these ground vehicles that are fitted with sensors that can measure the plant. And these are point sensors. So what you'll see from this machine is there's one sensor over each row, or one set of sensors. And we're getting things like plant height from ultrasonic sensors. We're getting um, NDVI, also like the Green Seeker technology, getting the greenness of the plants and how healthy the plant is. We're using IRTs or infrared thermometers uh, to measure how hot the plants are. And that corresponds to if the plants are transpiring, if they still have access to moisture, if they're still actively growing. Uh, and we're also measuring weather data. And this machine is measuring approximately 40 time points in each, uh, in each plot. And a plot has a variety in it, and we have multiple replicates so that we can uh, understand the variation and whether it's coming from the field or coming from the actual genetics that's underlying it. By using all this data uh, and combining it with our yield data, so we'll run a combine through here to measure yield, we'll be able to get at factors that are correlated with, uh, with the yield and use those to identify maybe indicators novel indicators we can't just see by going out and looking in the field um, that can be used to predict which varieties will be the best yielding. And then based on that, we can make crosses and pyramid those and have a variety that has multiple stress resistances and multiple uh, yield components. This ground vehicle is gonna be collecting, uh, just in this 3.1 acre field, um, about 150 um, independent observations that will then get consolidated down to the 288 plots that are in it. Um, and we'll be able to extrapolate from there these values. So one of the things we're very fortunate with here at Texas A&M is that um, there's lots of uh, other disciplines that use these as research topics. So while we're doing research on new varieties, uh, the people flying UAVs are doing research on UAVs. What's the best UAV? What's the, what's the best way to fly? How best to collect the data? Then we have people like ag engineers who are saying, what's the best sensor we want to collect? Um, lots of different people are all coming together to, to try and um, make sense of all this data and make it actionable for farmers, but also for researchers.